Hi guys, Lee here from Trading College. On this video, I'm going to show you last week's trades. The £11,700 profit, uh, there's the account on the left hand side there. And also I'm going to show you the £4,935 FTSE trade uh, that we did. And there's a couple of other trades we did in the Euro, which is about five to six hundred pounds profit. Um, you know, those were lesser profits. So we'll show you the setup here uh, on the Dow and show you what I was looking at all last week. Um, last week I was away for, with IG Index, the broker. I was invited to tour Switzerland. And so everything was done on my mobile phone after I'd got the heads up that there was another signal that I'm going to show you here. So here's the daily chart of the Dow Jones. And last week we had a red trend predictor. Now, if you remember back in the end of July, early August, we got this move here and we had this red arrow. When we get the red arrow, it's telling us that the next candlestick is likely to be down and potentially we could have a big drop like this. So remember this one previously and there was another big one around here where we got this big Dow drop. So when we get a red arrow, it means that we're looking for down a reversal. Green arrow, we're looking for long trades. So just to update you on this one, this was the latest one that we got. This was the one we got prior to the one we got last night, okay? Um, I'll, show, I'll talk about that one in one second, but let's just talk about this 11,700. So on the day, you get the red arrow. So that will close early evening time. And we had the red pro train system. So that was giving me the heads up that this market could close down the next day. So went about placing the order. Now, every trade that we do, every setup, there is a process. So if I'm trading on the daily time frame here, I'm looking for the break of a trend line. I'm looking for red PTSs. I'm looking for something where we get this breakdown with lower lows and lower highs. So all I've got to do is put a sell stop order in. And that's as easy as it comes, okay? Once you get the bigger time frame setting up the signal, that leads then. Then you go down to your smaller time frame. Now, I build positions. I like to build a position that, you know, I, I, if I'm spread betting, I don't want to particularly do one pound a point and only get a thousand pounds in this trade. I want to do multiple positions, risking the same amount on the trade, where I can build a bigger position, and when it does fall, then the account explodes profitable-wise, and you know I'm in it in multiple positions, so I can do some nice trades. So I just got an alarm through here um, on our app that the, today's DAX trade is now 100 points in profit from Dan, which is who is one of our coaches, so which is really good. I'll show you that setup in a second as well. So when I get a trend predictor, we fall. So I was just watching for the fall and we fell. You know, average price was 26,700 added to the profitable trade. And my average was 26,700 around here. I was adding to it around here as we broke the trend line on the one hour and literally could have got more out of it. But with the traveling, was happy to get um, was happy to get the uh, nearly 12,000 pounds out of that just a, a couple of days trading. So last few days we've had another trend predictor we've had a double trend predictor now that is sunday night's candlestick so we don't always take into consideration a trend predictor on a sunday night because the uh, the, the trading hours the candlesticks are going to be a small candlestick because of the it's open and closes pretty quickly but we had trend predictor so last night's scan club being monday we're all looking for shorts and the dow you know as we speak is down very very nicely indeed all right so that was the trend predictor that you this is the trend predictor system you get on the uh, pro trader program now let's take a little look at the footsie one because the footsie brought in four thousand um nine hundred and thirty five pounds profit and that was a, a little bit um different we must go back to that dow because i'm going to show you the bigger picture on that but the FTSE one was, you know, very much all about just going with the trades, uh, pro trend system short, you know, short in these markets. Uh, 72 90, 92 was the average price because I was adding to the short side as this thing was dropping, which was really nice. And I ended up being in it about £30 a point, brought in nearly £5,000 on profit, which is fine. Okay, so that was a good move. And that was pro trend system short 
lead it, led by, you know, pretty much led by that four hour time frame break, uh, which was a really nice one. All right, that's good. So two different setups in a way there. Let's have a look at the DAX one, uh, the 100 points we've got today. Let's just delete those. So last night's Scan Club was here, Monday night, because we hold that every Monday night at 7 p.m. And so people have just joined our programs and it was the first trade that we were really looking at on the Monday night setup. So we look every Monday night for the next trade setting up and they got a beautiful 100 point move here um, in the in the DAX, okay? And there's the alert that's gone out from Dan today on the top left hand side, you can see. So we've got a trend predictor, that's warning us that the market's gonna go down. So we've got a trend predictor here and the next day, it's just dramatically dropped, okay, in the DAX. So you get a trend predictor here and we dramatically go up. Trend predictor short and we dramatically go down. Three trend predictors here and we go higher. So having the trend predictor gives us the heads up where the market's going to go to next and then you just follow that process. So we came into October bearish the market and the reason we were bearish the market, let me just show you this go to the monthly time frame. Here's the monthly chart of the Dow Jones Industrial Average, bearish stock indexes. You can see for September, we had a red green arrow. Now it doesn't mean it's gonna collapse the market, It'd be great if it did, but we're down this month already. Okay, so because it's a dark green candlestick, it means it's trading down. Still green, so the trend is still up. But because we had a September red arrow, it meant that there's an 80% chance we should be we could be trading down um, quite nicely this month. All right, and so what you do then, because it's the monthly, you jump down two time frames, and then you're looking for a particular break in that October candlestick. Okay, so whether you're doing it from here, there's the break of the trend line. So it really depends what time frame. If you're somebody that's busy working, you could look at those monthlies and use the monthly trend predictor. You're somebody that's more active and get in and out of those screens, watch these trades setting up, you can just set this setup up um, with uh, a daily and you know one hour time frame and be more active. It really does depend, guys, on what um, and how you can fit trading into your busy period. All right. So those were the two trades I took last week. And guys, it was it was well over twenty thousand profit last week with um, the setups. And uh, you know, I wasn't even at my screens trading it, uh, and that's certainly what you can do when you've got these fantastic tools on the Pro Trader program. If you want to take advantage of the Pro Trader program, take a look at the website. I'll link you to it. And if you want to come and join me on Monday nights, you'd be up a hundred points if you'd have joined us for last night's program. All right. Have a great rest of the weekend or day or week, wherever we are. We are Tuesday, aren't we? So. Volatility is setting up in these markets. We could certainly see more downside in the indexes. Bye-bye for now.